A scourge sweeps across the jungle, spreading misery with an order of suffering on the side. Inappropriate dentures. Extreme tooth whitening. Come on, big guy. Show the world your pain. Have you seen anything sadder? No. No, you haven't. What could be behind this toothy terror? <laughs> Bad robot! <laughs> Those were my friends. George, you've been fighting robots non-stop for a week. Cut! <laughs> Robot not! <laughs> Run out! <laughs> Indeed. Maybe it's time we tackle this problem at the source. Good brain thing, ape! George, go to Robot Jungle! <laughs> Knock it off with robots, okay? Oh, hello, Robot George. Beep boop. Robot George, do something wrong? Robot George, not program for failure. Robot George, it's okay. It's okay. No! Oh, George, I'm not the robot you. I have to say that way too often. Oops. Oh, that close one. George, look! Manufactured by Chicago Dendletronics. Aha! Uh -huh. Dun dun dun! What that mean? It means this! The jig is up, Dr. Chicago! Yeah! Stop, robot spam! Oh, wow. Doctor really let place go. Are the robots still out there? Wait. If Chicago no send robots and Robot Jungle no send robots, who send robots? My, my, Moopkins. <laughs> oh yes, laugh it up. What do you call your mom? <laughs> oh, George Collar. George have no mom. You're probably thinking, unless you're one of those fancy pants clones, don't most folks have moms? But George is an orphan, plunked down in the great orphan storm of 99. Or was it 01? Oh, that's right, 01 was the year of that great hammocane. <laughs> now that was a doozy, <laughs> picking pork out of my slacks for weeks. In fact, was that little... Hmm, pork. George not know what it like to have mom. Hey, what, Chicago? Come out here at once! Ah, she's here! Let's go, George. Whatever's going on between Chicago and his moompkins is none of our business. But George want to know more about moms. <laughs> I'll save you! Deploying anesthetic ray. George, help me and I'll tell you anything. Just want to know about moons. Deal. I can't feel my brain. George, what are you doing? Sorry, Ape. George have to do this. But George, he's the enemy. Gingivitis is the real enemy. Cavity detected. <laughs> Favorite tooth boy behind! Uh, hi, I'm Cuspid. I was created by your son, so that makes me your grand! Ah! Chicago always have same mom? Unfortunately, yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Is what they call quality time? 
Chicago's? Yes! Scan negative. Do all moms have robots? As far as I am aware, yes. <laughs> no, that's just zebra. Now you've seen my mom. You can't blame me for being completely crazy terrified. It's true. George never knew moms have so many lasers. Moms are complicated. They love you and care for you and hunt you down like an animal when you disappoint them by dropping out of dental school. George drop out of trees all the time. <laughs> I wanted to be a mad scientist, not a dentist. But she'd never understand. Two smithery is in my family's blood. Yes, the Chicagos have a long and storied history of dental malpractice. I meant that literally. We have teeth for blood. Wow, I, uh... How is he even alive? Ooh, shooting star! That's not a... It's coming straight for us! <laughs> Cuspid? Negative. I am Cyber Cuspid. Moomkins is coming for you. Golly, resistance sure is futile. Knock it off, Cuspid. Moomkins will catch you in her loving embrace forever. Never, ever. <laughs> Just like Robot Toys! <laughs> Cuspid? He was an abomination, but he was my abomination. Oh, hug it out. <gasps> Go, George. A man cannot escape his Moomkins. Chicago give up? There's no hope for me! I could never out-dentist my mother! But Chicago not dentist, Chicago mad scientist! You're right. I am a mad scientist! A great mad scientist! Well... I'm just as evil as any dentist! Time to show Moomkins what this mad scientist can do! Moomkins! Uh, Dr. Chicago? Yes, George? Do you think George's mom out there somewhere with evil robots to chase George too? Maybe, George, just maybe. alone. <gasps> George never say that before. I never wanted to be a dentist, Moomkins. <gasps> Drones! Annihilate him! I wanted to be a mad scientist, and that's what I am! me anymore, Robo Caspid! <gasps> ah, a fitting tribute, I suppose. Ah, I'm so proud of you! But I weren't you going to annihilate me? I only wanted you to be a dentist so you'd have a good foundation in pain and suffering. You may be a little wrong in the head, but you're definitely so touching. Golly, did I miss the battle? Husband, you're alive! Of course he is! I picked up the pieces and gave him a new crown! He sure is swell, but could you do something, anything, about the unending pain? George, 
thanks for putting Mumpkins and Sun back together. So we can crush you together as a family. George happy to learn what it's like to have Mom. George just wish he had someone who cared for him, too. Put him down. Oh, hey, Ape. For the record, I've always thought of myself as more of a father figure. Ape, would it like to have father? <gasps> Papa Chicago! I mean, tell him I borrowed the robots! Run! I think it's time to leave, George. Can George call Ape Moonkins? No. Hello? Oh, shucks. Where'd they go? I brought free toothbrushes for everybody. The heart of the jungle holds many dark secrets. Mysterious artifacts hidden from prying eyes. Hello! Can we pick up the pace already? I don't have all day. I was trying to set a mood here. Sheesh. Uh, are we there yet? Oh, we're here all right. You. Now carry me inside. Oh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Uh, golly, uh, shouldn't we check for... Caspin, <laughs> stop being such a... <gasps> I knew it was real. I knew it! Hooray! Logs are real? You idiot! I don't care about the log. I care about this. The legendary load stick. It has more power than you can possibly oh. imagine. Nice work, George. Trick is waiting for a dramatic moment. That's mine. Get it back, Caspid. Ow! I got it, Doctor. I got stickhead hurt face for you. Oh, my. Uh, you got little... Stick in face there. Get your filthy head off my load stick! No! Magic stick not for bad people! <laughs> Hands off that mystical artifact! I smell bacon! Ow! 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 I feel funny! Oh my gosh! Did I do that? No my gosh, you didn't. That was the load stick. Whoever holds it, or has it stuck through their head, I guess, has ultimate control over all wood. Control that's supposed to be mine! So give it back already! This won't hurt, will it? Stick now! What do you think I've been... Ugh, I don't have time to deal with you two yo-yos right now! Uh, I wish I had a yo-yo. <laughs> hey! Quit showing off! George, use your teeth! An ape defeat you, evil person! <laughs> You'll never defeat me! Uh, George and Ape talking to him. Could you scoot a little to the left? Little more? Perfect! Surrender, stick, toothhead! Oh, oh! This is where I say something like, Never! And then laugh? <laughs> Doctor? I guess it's... I mean, it's not what I would have done. Oh, watch this! <laughs> Wowee, that was fun, wasn't it, Doc? 
Doc? Oh. Gosh, that was a great battle. We really socked it to him. Whatever. Ooh, can we gloat now? I've never gloated before. How about evil one? Good none. <laughs> Up high. Aw, you must be tired. Don't worry. We'll get to beat up George and Ape again soon. Evil's the best. Want to hear me do Mary Had a Little Lamb? No. Someone's a sulky pants. Bet I can cheer you up. and Cuspid win again! <laughs> <gasps> that tooth! He's unstoppable! But, but I wanted to be unstoppable! Hang in there, guys! I'll help you stop this super powerful and competent evil tooth villain! Careful! That's a Canadian maple! Okay, okay, get it together, Stuart. Mad science always cheers me up. Nothing says happy like a laser drone. Fine, I'll just design. What is this happening? It's, it's like Cuspid's the villain and I'm the sidekick. <laughs> Guess who's the brand new evil emperor of all animals? It's me, cool, huh? Oh, don't worry. You can be Emperor Junior. <laughs> Doc, what you doing? Coming out anytime soon? Can I help? <laughs> Not first time George wished he was Beaver. Ow! Hello, chums. Ah! It's back! Uh, can I ask you for advice? Huh, I suppose. It's not like we're doing anything else this episode. No kidding. This is clearly a Chicago cuspid story. I don't even know why I got out of my tent. Sheesh. <laughs> no listen to her. <laughs> What's wrong, Big Tooth? Beside ultimate jungle power stick stuck in brain. I think the doctor's mad at me, but I beat you guys up and won and everything. It's not as simple as that, Cuspid. The doctor's a proud man. <laughs> and more than a little unstable. Give me that stick now! Hi, Doc! Face. My new battle bot doesn't contain one sliver of wood. But Doc, I don't want to fight you. I should be the one with the ultimate power. Shh. It's okay. I hate you. I hate you. Oh, George, sure he not mean it. I was only doing it for you. Yes! It's mine! All mine! Yay! You're a super villain now! That makes me your sidekick again! <laughs> Don't make me laugh! This magic stick is my sidekick now! Now get lost! I never want to see you again! Oh. Oh. That's the saddest sound I've ever heard. How... how do I turn this on? Is there a switch or a... a leaf I have to squeeze? Ah, never mind! <laughs> now we finally get on with this! <laughs> Jungle is mine! George is at my mercy! This is everything I've always wanted! Isn't it? 
Boy say ha ha, but leaky eyes say boo hoo. That's ridiculous! I'm overjoyed! See? <laughs> I'm not crying! I'm not! This is sweat! George thinks Chicago missed Cuspid. He betrayed me! Only true friend lose fight on purpose. But... Bah! I still don't need that little abomination. Dad? Am I... an abomination? Yes, Cuspid! My abomination! <laughs> Yay! So I already miss his inane laugh. His funky smell. His lazy eye. Aw, that nice. But why doctor saying it to George? Someone else need to hear it more. I'm sorry, Cuspid! Yay! I can be your sidekick again? No, Cuspid. I'll be your sidekick. Gosh, but no. You're the real supervillain in our family. But I want you to have it. Thanks, but I want you to have it more. Take no it. way. Yes, Don't way. want it. It's a gift. I'm re-gifting. <laughs> Oops. George's turn. <laughs> um, how it work? <laughs> Oops. George meant to make heart around them. Just remember, Cuspin, this is all your fault. It always is. It always is. The Jungle, home to nature's most dangerous game. No, not ping pong. Survival. Survival of the fittest. This lion has razor sharp claws. This zebra has a fluffy tail. This lion is a merciless master of the hunt. This zebra is a... Okay, look, the zebra is pretty much lunch. Oh, here comes the good part. And what now, George? You can't carry that zebra around forever. Ape, no worry. George have idea to keep zebra safe. There, see? George smart like ape. And what about all of them? I no get zebras now. George, you can't just stuff zebras in a cave. Ape, right. Now, all animals safe. George, you really think that... Shh! George no a proud of George. <laughs> this is so annoying. What is it I forgot to do today? Create artificial life? That you drunk wants to live. No. Enslave all octopuses? No, I changed my mind about that. They give me the willies. <laughs> ah, I guess it wasn't that important. Oh, oh, Mom's birthday is today? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I'm hyperventilating. I need a present. Stat! Just think, Chicago. Think or you're dead! Metric tons of flowers and a few hundred uh, thousand stuffed animals should mean I'm safe for another year. Just add in same day shipping and. How much? I don't have that kind of bank! A gift you make yourself is worth more than anything you could buy. I'll get the glue and macaroni! You don't understand! My mother is. Let's just say you only ever forget her birthday once. How am I gonna get that kind of cash? Who knew stuffed animals were so expensive? I've got it! No, everyone isn't just invisible. Something's happened to all the jungle animals. Hmm, 
suspicious, don't you think? No, no, I suppose you don't. Okay, George, what's the plan? Dr. Chicago's a wily fellow. We can't just run in there and... Hey, Doctor, no do bad stuff, okay? Huh? Huh? Oh, hello, George. Sure, I'll stop the bad stuff. But you didn't say anything about bad stuffing. Cuspid! Yes? What's up? Blast him! George! What, Ape? George's busy. George? George! No need, now. George right here. What? How? Why? If you had a mother like mine, you'd transform all the jungle animals into stuffed versions and sell them online, too. George, stop you! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> This has got to be the cutest thing I've ever seen! From a purely scientific standpoint, of course. Hey! Put George down! George not toy or joke! <laughs> <laughs> that funniest thing huh? Ursula ever see! <laughs> hey! George still king! George still strong! See? Aww. Ursula, Magnolia, please, we need your help to stop Dr. Chicago. Now, George, this time we can just... Hey, Doctor, now really no do bad stuff. <laughs> wow, I didn't think you'd just try the same thing again. No, George, I mean, really, <laughs> does he ever stop and think? Well, he'll have lots of time to think on his way to Japan! <laughs> Japan? You show us now? Ha! If I did, how would you help me ship all these animals? And then I wouldn't make my money, and my mother wouldn't get her birthday gifts, and she'd launch the... Look! Just get to the shipping! We'll never help you! Airmail the Crown Freight. Come on, come on, come on! Me, George! Me have to get back to jungle! Asato jungle no nyuga suru. Hey! That looked like me! Kora yappa dabe da! Nisemon da! Okay, George. Now you have time to make big things and stop Dr. Chicago. Okay, Brain? Go! Hello, Brain? George, say go! Report! <sighs> That's the last of the rhinos. And the only giraffes left are the weird ones. <gasps> hey, stop! It's not snack time! <laughs> Stuffy animals taste bad! <laughs> <sighs> okay, people, time to raid the D-list. Eight, nine, ten. Who buys stuffed rocks? And who buys ten of them? Meanwhile, for the first time in his life, George thinks. It's not like he's got anything else to do. George needs smart plan to save friends and jungle. Of course you say that, George. You nothing but talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Don't make George kick you out of box, George. <laughs> Hmm. And there! 
George, you do it again for first time. Ah, thanks, George. You smart thinker, too. What? Why are you stopping? That's it. Kaput. Done. You've shipped every animal, every bug, every rock. Oh, that's too bad. Your mom's gonna be so mad you forgot her birthday. And you got so close. You're like three stuffed animals short. How many? Are you dumb? I said. Oh, I'm the dumb one. What? Our first return? Huh. <laughs> oh, that tickled unexpectedly. Good news! George, back! And good news! George, think of playing this time! George, draw it in box! Uh, what was I really expecting? Plan step one! Defeat Doctor! Get away from that! Cuspid! Hey, George, no finish playing inside here. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, boy. George, have bones again. And just like George, all over the world, the stuff-informed animals returned to normal. And then were returned to sender for a full refund. Animals back normal? Somehow destroying the ray guns reversed its effects because that makes sense. Nice thinking, George. Plan step two. Everyone, high five. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no! I missed it! I missed Mom's birthday! We should probably... Cuspid! Activate anti-mom protocols Alpha through Epsilon! Turn out the lights! Turn on the lasers! Oh no! It's already too late! So, George, now that you're a big thinker, what do you think you're going to do next? Oh, George, give brain break. All this think stuff give George big headache. George not want break brain. <laughs> George? Tuesday, the worst day of the week. People think it's Monday, but they're too scared to admit the truth. No, it's Tuesday for sure, because Tuesday is the start of migration season. In the space of a few days, all the animals move from one part of the jungle to another. Is it instinct? A subtle shift in the Earth's magnetic field? No. It's because Mother Nature is dumb. And even with George's constant vigilance, the jungle borders on total chaos. George, maybe next time you could make a bridge for the ants? Oh, I uh, turn right at Bottomless Pit, then left at Temple of Doomy Badness. Hey, jerk termites! Look how tiny you all are! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Hey, big Chicago, go be big somewhere else, okay? Make me. Mm. That tickles! Where are you? Get out of there! That's private property! George! George, wake up! Behold what your napping has wrought. Eh? Oh. George, sorry. George just missed fighting villains and crazy rescues. I know it's a grind, but managing migration season is very important and <coughs> serious work. Hey, maybe Abe take over migration duty so George can... Even the boring work is part of being a king, George. <gasps> hey, hear that? Danger! Come right back when you're done. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. long neck horses should watch where they walk. There. Oh. Yep. George having that kind of day. Can horses go tell life to grow? Uh, 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 oh. So this what on other side of quicksand? And thus, George discovered the shadow jungle. Hey, Sky Voice, what shadow jungle? I was getting to that. 
It's an entirely separate jungle existing parallel to our own, with its own shadow animals. Woo! Lying, Stricky Horse! <laughs> and its own shadow George. Glaborny! <laughs> Wow! Watch me! Watch me! Doofnab Roar! And thus, a deep bond of friendship was forged. Toughnab Lua Kimcha. Shadow George have own shadow ape. Toughnab Lua Kuma. And Shadow Magnolia. Um, hey, where's Shadow Ursula? Whoa! Animal in danger! <laughs> Oh, Shadow George, welcome. Oh, but George need go back home. Migration season. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shadow George have migration season too. Oh, Partini Baff and Flap. And so George learns that the Shadow Jungle doesn't have migration season. Instead, there's Partini Baff and Flap, the time of buttering, when it is the Shadow King's duty to butter every animal in the Shadow Jungle. But if the animals don't get their butter, they go butter zerk. Hey, look! Shadow Chicago and Shadow Cuspid! Snurp! <laughs> please, 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 please! Can George stop them? Hey, George handle exciting Shadow Jungle and Shadow George handle migration, please! George even handle time of buttering. Gently, gently. I haven't fully tested the sand suit. George, I was about to come after you. George, did you by any chance change color? Blimp pom? And you've forgotten how to talk. Again. Good thing I didn't throw away those flashcards. Oh, come on! George! It's more migration trouble. <laughs> You're full of surprises today. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> ah, hope Shadow George having much fun too. Keep migrating, sister. This habitat is taken. Vagulo, tippy tippy. Oh. That's creative. <laughs> George's kind of eruption. Partini Baffum Flap. Hi, Shadow Ape. Come to see Bubbles? Partini Baffum Flap. Time of buttering now. Oh, boy. Which Shadow Ape tell George an hour ago? One hour ago. Mm -hmm. George can't help it. George a butter man. <laughs> Flaps a go go broop. What Shadow Ape mean only have one butter? Yes, Shadow Ape only have one butter. Patini baff and flap, patini baff and flap. For the Shadow Jungle, butter is a once in a thousand year event. Patini baff and flap! Amazing! Do <laughs> your grandma! Mulva! Okay! George get Shadow George! <laughs> Shadow George! Uh, Shadow George! Come on! Need butter! Shoo, no, no. George, no, Shadow George, tired, but Partini baff him! <laughs> George, so sorry for making you take over. There! Shadow George, wake up! Shadow animals go butter zerk. George needs butter real bad. Huh? Ah! Shadow George! Ah! Hey, 
George know why George scream, but why jungle scream? George, it's horrible. Hey, you changed color again. Ape, focus. And you can talk. Oh, right. Yeah, it's terrible. It's a marmot. Ape, marmot not terrible. Okay, George admits that one pretty bad. But it's just shadow marmot. Did you say shadow marmot? Nothing. George say nothing. George handle it. There, and no come back! George, care to explain what's going on? George do bad thing. George go to Shadow Jungle and switch with Shadow George, but now Shadow George broken and Shadow Jungle go butter zerk! <laughs> And George no find butter. No butter for George. It hopeless. Where are you, butter? I didn't understand any of that. But you know you can just make butter, right? George can make butter? Ha poo poo. Partini bath and flap. Ha poo poo. Uh, George, why does that ape look just like me? Ah! George, where have you been? The migration eats a disaster! <laughs> Who the banana is that? Moonla? George! George? Wait here! George fix everything with butter! George? George! That is the freakiest thing I've ever... <laughs> and so, with two worlds in the balance, George corrects his mistakes. Patini Baba Flap! Patini Baba Flap! Patini Baba Flap! Through the power of butter. Patini Baba on this. There! Tartini Baffin Flap and migration's all done. All with the magic of butter. Good work, George. And thank you for introducing us to our other selves. Baz Flap. What Shadow Jungle do without Shadow George? Moontha. Furt <laughs> Nummies! Shadow George! Is there anything Butter can't do? No, George, I guess there isn't. Jololo, cock and doof. Jololo, cock and doof. Oh, must you be going already? Oh, that's sweet. George, get the biggest boulder you can find and plug the bit. But then, did you see how messed up they are? Do it! Do it now! And so our heroes plugged the hole and never spoke of the shadow jungle again. Behold the jungle scientist, focused in her pursuit of knowledge. Patient in her quest for understanding. Come on! I've seen faster glaciers! <sighs> sorry, sorry. Master of jungle camouflage. The purple paisley panther, never before seen by humans. <laughs> No, no, come back! <laughs> Must do science research. Must win Nobel Prize. And the Nobel Prize goes to not Magnolia. I'm a complete science failure. Wait, there is another award. Huh? The absolutely will never win a Nobel Prize award goes to Magnolia! <laughs> Burn! Oh. <laughs> Wait, even in 
insects think I'm hilarious. We are not insects. We are crunch bugs. Are you an invertebrate? Well, do you have six legs? Uh, I, uh... Insect. Listen, it doesn't matter. Now, please, extend your tongue so Queen Crunchetta can welcome you with her sacred taste bud tango. Extend my... Hey! Don't you even... Stop! Stop dancing on my... Actually, you taste pretty good. Like, like a vanilla chocolate... The magic sauce. Uh, Oops. You ate our queen! No, I didn't. Do you have any more? Ow! This isn't funny, you monster! Queen Crunchetta was our one and only beloved sovereign! So you don't have any more. Look, buddy, if I was a crazy delicious bug, I wouldn't go around dancing on other people's tongues. You're doing it again! Sorry, sorry. You know you guys are better than peanuts, right? I'll go now. Hey! Oh, mama! <sighs> Nothing like a full belly to make you forget your troubles. Oh, right. I'm a failure. Great. Now I'm gonna get leeches in my underwear again. Or worse, I'm Chow. Unless I throw my binoculars against that rock, which will tip and fall on that log, which will arc the honey badger into that crocodile's mouth, and it'll make him cry, and his friends will leave because they're so embarrassed, and all the noise will wake up that hippo. <laughs> Clearly, I'm smarter than before, but how? Hey, what's up there? It's obvious from the monkey's tail movements and the tiger's wedding ring that they're a couple, which means a brand new species that I've already written up in an award-winning paper? I'm a genius! It's science time! And the answer to the meaning of life and everything is... 42? Huh. I thought it would have been more. Uh -huh. Finally, the cure for lizard wart fever. There you go, buddy. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. <gasps> My new genius. It's fading. And I don't know why, because I'm not a genius anymore. Magnolia. George, make fruit platter in jungle cooking class. Magnolia, try. Huh? This looks just like a... Oh, my gosh! I know what happened to my smarts! Uh, bye! Is that supposed to be me? Maybe... Queen Crunchetta was beloved by all, and we will never forget. Make me smart! Make me smart! You again! Get out of here! Sorry! Sorry! Just gonna take a few more of you for the road. <laughs> and therefore, I think you'll see that wood magnets are a perfect... Um... A perfect... Oh, yeah. That's the brain juice. <laughs> brain juice? Ah, George! Hi! I wasn't eating hundreds of defenseless jungle creatures or anything. <laughs> George, hear Minnie screaming? It's... Uh, lemurs! Uh, out there somewhere! They always scream really quietly when they're in trouble. Don't say screaming lemurs! <sighs> You might fool George, but I know what a screaming lemur sounds like, and Hello. is not it. Um... Ah! Hey! Ooh. Lemur's mad at George for waking them up! Ah! 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 George! Drop by any time! <laughs> What's that? I'm up! Bugs, 
Because I need the brains. Because brains gonna figure out what's happening to me. Uh, Magnolia eating hundreds of defenseless jungle creatures? <laughs> Magnolia, you know we all care about you. Ursula not care. But first, Magnolia must admit she have problem. There's no problem. I'm a science genius. <laughs> that first problem. And this is the second. <gasps> eh. It's worth it for the smarts. <laughs> it's not worth it. You turn into Crunch Bug. Cool. No, not cool. Ugh. Magnolia, you have to stop eating Crunch Bugs, no matter how smart they make you. I tried that, but I keep changing. <laughs> ah! <Yeah>. Oh! <laughs> I promise I'll change. I'll never eat another Crunch Bug again. It is time. Let the Crunch Bug cleansing ceremony begin. Um, before we do this, can I have one last bite? No. How about just half a bite? No. A nibble? What did I just say? Okay, fine. <laughs> Sheesh. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you guys made silk. Wow, you guys are really cocooning me up here. This is going to fix all the bug stuff, right? Right? The cleansing ceremony is complete! Uh, uh, great! I'm cured! Yes, cured of your non-crunch bugness. Say what? All hail Queen Magnolia, our new crunch bug queen! Queen Magnolia, Queen Magnolia! You? What did you do? Well, I think it's pretty obvious and uh, only fair since you ate our old queen. Uh, I've got six legs and a super axe. Turn me back. Turn me back. Well, I'm sorry. I only know the turn you into a bug ceremony. Now, let's get to laying those eggs. <laughs> George, you gotta help me! Ow! Go, 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 go! Stop! Stop it! It's me, Magnolia! Hey, you new Crunchbug Queen! Congrats! But I don't want to be Crunchbug Queen! But there hasn't been a Crunchbug abdication since all six! Just know, I'm doing it for love. I don't care! I'm a giant bug! Hmm. Point taken. And then there's the millions of eggs you'll have to lay. I don't want to be Crunch Bug Queen. I don't want to be Crunch Bug Queen. I'm a scientist, so maybe I should start acting like one. With or without Crunch Bugs. Without eating a single crunch bug! As science is my witness, I will never eat crunch bugs again! Come back to the nest, Queen Magnolia! Your crunch bugs need you! No! <laughs> and <laughs> save! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Apologize to Tasty Bugs first. They turned me into this! You ate a thousand of us! Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. After all, I made this cure all on my own. See? <laughs> Ta-da! Gosh, shark farts! Next time I give up crunch buns after I make the cure. Ew! Oh, disgusting! We're out! Our new queen! <laughs> sure. Magnolia makes great slug queen.
Thank <laughs> you.